Hey, my name is Ansley Larson, and I do what's called Pasanki writing. It's an ancient Ukrainian art that's actually one of the, the oldest documented arts still in existence, which is done on eggshells. Um, in 1980, I was in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I saw a woman demonstrating the art and thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen, so I bought books and tools and everything I needed to go home and teach myself how to do it. About 10 years ago, I decided that jewelry might sell better than an egg on a stand, so I started cutting out the pieces and putting epoxy on them so they wouldn't break and selling jewelry, and I am having more fun than I've ever had in my entire life. I love it, and even though it is an ancient art who, that's been around for thousands of years, very few people know about it. And I think my very favorite part of doing uh, craft fairs besides all the heavy duty cash is teaching people about the art. Um, it's, it's pretty fascinating and the process is cool and um, no one's ever heard about it so it makes me smarter than them. And I, ju I just love talking about it and teaching people about it and um, you know, it's full of history and tradition and symbol symbolism. I started with chicken eggs and graduated to goose eggs and then I did ostrich eggs and for a while I was doing a design on an ostrich egg and then turning it into a lamp, like wiring it and put a lampshade on it and made it like the lamp base. It's the same technique because it's the same art and it's basically batik on an eggshell. Um, but then after I put the designs on, I cut them out. That's the, the main difference. I cut out the, the shapes um, and put epoxy on them so they won't be fragile and then put an ear wire on them and make them either into um, uh, earrings or pendants with colorful designs. Sometimes it's just two colors. They even have just a little dyed piece of eggshell um, for just a little tinge of color. But um, yeah, it's the same traditional technique, just modernized and made into jewelry. So I'll be at the Pink Palace Craft Fair. I sure hope you'll come see me in my pretty jewelry.